beautiful souls, thanks for tuning in. If this message strikes a chord, please hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment to share how it aligns with your journey. To all the chosen ones listening, there's something you need to hear. Right now, there are people out there in a state of panic, terrified of what's coming their way. These individuals chose a path of darkness, opposing you, attempting to sever your divine connections, thwart your purpose, and blind you to your true potential and gifts. They've tried to undermine your financial stability and compromise your health. They've been relentless. Many of you have felt the obstacles placed before you, yet you persevered, never yielding. You rose to the challenge, aware of your divine protection, knowing you needed to stay vigilant and defend yourself to prevent these low vibrational forces from destabilizing your mental and emotional well-being. You stood strong, refusing to feel helpless or powerless, no matter the trials you faced. And that's exactly what you did. You called upon your spiritual team, and they've been tirelessly working to ensure your divine protection. Right now, there are individuals out there, extremely frantic, scrambling to reverse the spells and magic they cast against you. Chosen ones, they're desperately trying to figure it out, especially with the upcoming full moon. They're racing against time to undo their spell work because they're starting to feel the consequences. Let me tell you, the boomerang effect is real. It's knocking them over like bowling pins. They're witnessing their own downfall, terrified by the repercussions. This recent ritual they performed against you, which they believed was their strongest, has them deeply worried about the impending karmic backlash. They know they need to act fast to reverse what they've done to avoid the worst. What they failed to grasp was that their ritual was inadvertently cast upon themselves. You, radiating such high vibrational energy, were entirely untouchable, immune to their negative forces. They mistakenly believed they had ensnared you emotionally, positioned you into a state of confusion and vulnerability, ideally primed for their manipulative energies. They thought their obstacles had sufficiently dragged you down, preparing you to succumb to their designs. But they were wrong. The impact they intended for you boomeranged right back at them. Now, they find themselves scrambling for damage control, clueless on how to shield themselves from the repercussions. The higher forces they conjured, their deities, demons, and so-called spiritual guides, are unable to offer any solace or solutions. Panic has set in among them as they realize that the grim reaper they summoned for you is now stalking them. They're in the dark about who it will strike next, unaware that in their attempt to sacrifice you, they have actually sacrificed themselves. As they come to terms with their grave miscalculation, they are also coming to a profound realization about your true nature. They now see clearly just how potent your spiritual strength is and from whence it derives. They recognize that you are indeed a divine being, unyielding and transformative, handling challenges with grace and maintaining optimism through adversity. Your resilience and continued progress, despite their efforts to hinder you, have unveiled your true character to them. They observe, perhaps obsessively, as you navigate through life, not just surviving, but thriving amid the trials they cast your way. Through your responses and the public or private affirmations you may share, via social media or personal declarations, they have come to understand that you are fully aware of their deceit and malevolence. The revelations about their betrayal have not escaped your notice. It's as if you are directly confronting them, armed with insights that could only be divinely inspired. Your heightened spiritual gifts have not only revealed their plots, but have magnified your capacity to expose and denounce them. Now they face the chilling realization that you possess the authority to invoke judgment upon them, an authority that has already manifested intangible repercussions for those aligned against you. This newfound acknowledgement among your adversaries has instilled deep fear, for each invocation of judgment you make seems to seal their fate, striking them down one by one. They are haunted by the power you wield, a power that exacts accountability and justice, leaving them to reckon with the terrifying consequences of their actions. It's like a scene from a horror movie, guessing who's next to face their karma. 
This is their own making, now boomeranging back to them with a force they never anticipated. They were not prepared for the strength of their own spells. They thought that these dark intentions would break you, render you weak, passive, just another victim of life's harshness. What they didn't realize was that the very fire they sent to scorch you was instead fueling and strengthening you. This onslaught they thought would weaken you, in fact activated your deeper spiritual potentials. It awakened your DNA, connected you with your Akashic records, and revived your dormant spiritual gifts. They unwittingly became the catalysts for your awakening, not your downfall. The very spells and dark magic they cast to control you boomeranged, empowering and reminding you of your profound spiritual strength. You were reminded that you are a spirit having a human experience. It showed you that if low vibrational entities could attempt to manipulate your life through spells and still impact you, then imagine how much more powerful you could be in harnessing energy to transform and master your existence. Now, fully awakened to your own power, you wield it with confidence and divine authority. Those who targeted you now see the true extent of your spiritual stature. They underestimated you, but now both you and they are fully aware of the spiritual authority you hold. This awakening is profound for both sides. You are stepping into your elevation, and they are on the brink of their undoing. Everyone is now acutely aware of the seismic shifts about to take place. As you ascend, they face the repercussions of their actions. This serves as a front row lesson to all involved and observing. No matter how many dark practitioners gather, be they witches, warlocks or sorcerers, their collective power pales in comparison to that of a divinely chosen individual. This ordeal underscores a crucial lesson for those dabbling in negative energies and manipulative magic, thinking their low-level tricks that worked on others would work on you. They failed to realize who they were dealing with. They didn't understand your backing, your lineage, your past life experiences, your spiritual assignments, or the scope of your divine authority. They knew nothing of your spiritual heritage or the divine forces supporting you, yet they arrogantly assumed you were as vulnerable as any other. This miscalculation exposes their folly, showcasing that you cannot be subdued by those who operate from hatred, ego, or pride. No amount of conjured malice can overcome the spiritual authority granted to a chosen one by their divine lineage. This is a profound awakening, not just for you, but for every adversary who thought they could undermine a divinely protected soul. They truly thought they were untouchable, that their high rank in their spiritual circles gave them the power to meddle with anyone. But now they're in a panic, scrambling to undo the chaos they've caused. They're stressed, losing sleep, drowning in anxiety, not knowing how to reverse the curses they cast. Their own foolishness has backfired, bringing them mental torment, loss and illness. These individuals, who were once esteemed as high priests or high priestesses within their communities, misled others into believing in their power. Those deceived joined forces, thinking they could collectively bring you down. But instead, their collaborative efforts only solidified their downfall in this reality. Their collective attacks, meant to weaken you, reinforced the impenetrable armor surrounding you. Protection that is bulletproof, spellproof, and immune to the evil eye. Unbeknownst to them, their actions have hastened your transformation into the divine entity you were meant to become. The hexes and spells they cast have not cursed you, but propelled you forward. Now, they find themselves unraveling. Overwhelmed by the impending doom they feel hovering over them, their dreams haunt them with warnings of impending judgment, leaving them in a state of constant paranoia, looking over their shoulders, fearful of what might come next. This is a critical lesson for them and any others who might think to challenge you next. They should heed the warnings, like the old saying goes about sitting quietly indoors when it storms. It's a time of reckoning, a period of divine judgment where the celestial forces are actively at work. Despite multiple warnings after each hex they cast, they chose to persist in their malevolence. The universe and your spiritual protectors allowed them some leeway. 
a chance to see the error of their ways and correct their course. They had every opportunity to pull back, to assess the damage they were doing and seek redemption. But they chose to continue, each spell and attack meticulously noted by the Divine Watchers. Your guardians ensured that every negative intent thrown your way only fortified your spirit. So let them know, as they recklessly continue on their path, every action is recorded, every decision noted. They're not operating in obscurity, every move is seen, and the consequences of their actions are now rapidly catching up to them. They played foolish games and are now reaping the rewards, panic, fear, and inevitable downfall. It's their time to reckon with the forces they've unwisely challenged. And just like that, they've thrown their stones and thought they could hide their hands. But everything they did has been meticulously recorded. Judgment Day isn't just coming, it's already here, unfolding right before our eyes in the tangible world. Everything that has transpired has been captured, ensuring that when you, the Chosen, invoke judgment, you are precisely informed of what and whom you are dealing with. You might not know all their names, but the universe has provided you with the energy of those who opposed you. Many of you have received divine messages so potent that they included faces and names, painting a clear picture of the adversaries who sought to impede your path. Now, a massive shift is occurring. A cycle is ending, and those who misused their spiritual gifts are seeing everything they once held dear being stripped away. They've lost their spiritual authority, their health, financial stability, and even their personal relationships are crumbling. Everything they valued is being revoked because they chose to target the Chosen, corrupting their gifts and abusing their power. These individuals could have used their abilities to dismantle corrupt systems and contribute positively to humanity. Instead, they opted to use their powers against the Divine, perverting and squandering their potential. Now they face the consequences as all their supposed gifts are revoked. The balance must be restored, and unfortunately for them, but fortunately for the grand scheme of things, there is nothing they can do to reverse the curses they've cast. No amount of searching, hiring, or praying will remove the hexes they've unleashed because these curses are theirs to bear. They must live out the repercussions of their actions, embodying the very curses they intended for others. They futilely attempt to halt the boomerang of negative energy they set into motion, not understanding that energy cannot be destroyed, it can only be transformed or transferred. Now that energy is returning to them, magnified and undeniable, your spiritual team no longer needs to use these low vibrational beings as catalysts for your awakening. Their role in your journey is over. You fully awakened, your spiritual gifts have been amplified, and there is no going back. You're now fully aware, fully alive, and fully in tune with the immense power and authority you hold. The tables have turned, and the lesson is clear. Those who operate from a place of malice and deceit will eventually face their own spiritual demise, orchestrated by their own hands. Now that the dust has settled, your spiritual team has a crystal clear understanding of your position because you fully grasp who you are. You've reclaimed your divine assignment and authority, understanding your pivotal role here. The detractors who once seemed to obstruct your path have become irrelevant. They no longer serve any purpose in your spiritual evolution. Now they must face the consequences of their actions alone. So brace yourself, prepare for a new beginning because you've triumphed over the trials set before you. Wonderful things are on the horizon for you, Chosen. You're being rewarded and acknowledged for your perseverance, for maintaining a stance of gratitude and integrity despite the turmoil surrounding you. Now you simply step aside and watch as your spiritual team takes over to deal with your adversaries. That's the message I have for you today. I love you all. If this message resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to connecting with you again soon.